welcome and thank you for joining us for tonight's Our Daily Bread Evening Meditation. God has given you this moment to slow down and be still before him. Close your eyes and let your head gently sink into your pillow. He is here to receive you, just as you are. As we begin a reflective time tonight, try to get as comfortable as possible. Take some deep, calming breaths. Let go of today as you come to know the presence and peace of your Heavenly Father. Come aside with him now. Pause from life's busyness. Rest with your soul's true companion. Heavenly Father, what a privilege and a joy that I can walk with you through life. I do not need to try and navigate the world by myself. You are always with me to help and guide me. Your wisdom lights my way. I pray now that as I listen to the reading of your word, you would speak your truth deep into my heart. Genesis chapter 5 verses 21 to 24 say, When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. After he became the father of Methuselah, Enoch walked faithfully with God three hundred years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked faithfully with God. Then he was no more because God took him away. Enoch was a man who knew God personally and walked with him faithfully, so much so that God makes special mention of it in Scripture for people of all time to see. Even way back in the prehistory of our world, human beings could have a personal relationship with the Creator of heaven and earth. It's a beautiful way to think about our relationship with God. It's a walk. In order to walk with somebody, a few things must be true. We must both be going in the same direction. We must keep the same pace. We mustn't race ahead or lag behind. We stay together. And at last, as with Enoch and God, we end up at the same destination. God, it seems, simply took Enoch home with him. How is your walk with God tonight? Are you headed in the same direction? Are you keeping pace? Why not spend a moment or two 
adjusting your stride, turning where you need to, and set yourself to walk with him anew. As we turn to prayer, consciously relax every part of your body, starting at your feet and working your way up. When you get to your eyes, imagine you can see inside your mind. Switch off any distracting thoughts and close the door on tomorrow's to-do list. Come now into the sanctuary of your heart where the Lord is waiting to hear your prayers. Breathe deeply with long, slow exhales. Breathe in. and out. And in. And out. And in. And out. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for the wonderful truth of your word that I can know you personally. I pray that if there's any area of my life where I'm headed away from you, lagging behind, running ahead, or anything else that hinders our walk together, Please, will you show me now? Help me to walk with you, Lord. Sometimes I rebel. Sometimes I wander. But I really do want to know you and walk with you. Help me keep my eyes on you. The psalmist says in Psalm 116 verses 7 to 9, Return to your rest, my soul, for the Lord has been good to you. For you, Lord, have delivered me from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling, that I may walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Let's close with a final prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray that you would enable me to switch off from the distractions that keep me from walking closely with you. Hold me close as I sleep tonight. Remind me when I wake tomorrow that it is a new day of journeying by your side. Amen. Amen.